Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici. Welcome my friends and welcome to my channel, Fountain Pen Therapy. Today I have another ink uh, review for you, but it's not of one particular ink, but of a, a collection in the Monteverde uh, collection of inks. And, you know, I always say to myself, you know, we buy inks and I have, I have you know, dozens and dozens of bottles, but you can't use them, you can't use all of them at at the same time, obviously. And some collections, some inks I've purchased months and years ago, and then you kind of, after you buy them, you put them away, you try them out first uh, as soon as you receive them, and then you put them away, and you unfortunately don't have time, or you don't, there's just too much choice, and you don't use them. And so now that I have my own fountain pen YouTube channel, I said, you know, let me go back to some of the collections that I've purchased and and maybe share them with my my viewers. And that's what I propose that I do today with you. And we'll be looking at the Monteverde Jungle Ink Collection. And um, stay tuned. Here it is. Let me just switch cameras and we'll go to the overhead camera. And here it is. Just simple packaging. Uh, that's that's the box. And that contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bottles of ink. Uh, removing the wrapper, you have this very nice uh, box with a metallic uh, and a magnetic snap-on closure, if you will. And uh, the inks are. Let me just widen out a little bit here. Here we go. Um, so the inks are described here. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your bottles. Uh, maybe just to open one up just to show you what the bottles look like. The, the Monteverde ink bottles, I find, are very nice uh, just because of the, you know, first of all, they're glass, nothing fancy, nice tight, and nice tight fit. They're darkened, so your light doesn't penetrate. And they have a nice big opening. Um, I just bought Ferris Wheel Press collections very nice ink by the way and we'll be doing a review soon but they're the smaller bottles and unfortunately the pens don't fit i just realized my god when i when i have to fill my pens with this ink basically i have to draw it out with a syringe and put it into my converter it's really the only way or the best way to do it which is not ideal because you want to ink your pen you want to you want you know your nib to get in there and uh, so it starts it starts right away but having said that that's really appreciated by Monteverde to have these nice big you know openings so that you can fill your pens adequately so that's the that's the box very nice packaging and I keep them in there just because I think it, the box is is very nice so that's the box Let's put that aside, if you will. I've done some swatches, and rather than um, do the swatches live, I've done them already, and maybe I, so I could just concentrate on on taking a look at the inks. I have this little A6 uh, notebook with Toma River paper, and that's where I did my, my uh, uh, what is it, eight swatches, and we can look at every ink, okay? And I'll give you my impressions, if you will. Okay, so... Let me zoom in here as much as I can. Here we go. The first one is the Monteverde Lion. Uh, so it's a yellow ink, as you could see. Um, there is some, there's no shimmering, okay? Um, in terms of shading, there is some shading, uh, and there's really no um variation if you will it's a pretty straightforward ink i would say um, so that's the monteverde lion and i guess that's probably something i will be repeating to you with most of these inks there's nothing glamorous about any of these inks they're pretty straightforward so if you want a straightforward yellowish orange there it is okay it's not going to give you shade a hell of a lot of shading sheen or shimmering Okay, the same thing goes with this Monteverde Toucan. I see, you know, you see some of the gold. I don't know if the camera picks that up. There you go. Some of the gold shading there, but very, very minimal. You might get different uh, shadings here from lighter to darker black, but pretty straightforward in my opinion. So that's the Monteverde Toucan. 
The next one is the Monteverde chameleon. Now, in the chameleon, you do see you do see a bit of shading there. Um, not great, sh not really sheen. Uh, although you could say that there's this brown and red, which is more than shading. There is some uh, some sheen there, but not a lot. Okay, so that's the chameleon. The next one is the crocodile. Pretty straightforward green ink. Okay, nothing spectacular there either, but you know a nice dark ink. Sometimes you just want a pen that doesn't play any tricks, uh, an ink that doesn't play any tricks on you, that writes well, goes well on paper, very little feathering. This is pretty, this is as straightforward as you can get it. Okay. And some people appreciate that. Uh, and I understand. I repeated this. Okay, here we go. This is the zebra. I don't know why it's called zebra. It's really a, a grayish blue, if you will. Uh, there it is. Again, very straightforward, but look how nice it looks on paper when you write with it. Gives you this grayish blue, which, you know, is a very unique color. I haven't found one uh, that that sort of um, of a look. And I got to tell you, on paper, I like this, this blue uh, zebra. There you go. That's the blue zebra. This is what they call the giraffe. Again, I don't know why it's called the giraffe. It, actually, you see more shading on the written part of my um, swatch than you do on the actual swatch. Um, on the swatch, it looks pretty straightforward, but when I write with it, you could see shading. You could see slighter, uh, you know, slight dark and lighter. And in the line variation with the with a thicker nib, you can certainly you can certainly get some. Uh, very nice, uh, very nice variation in color. So this is nice one. This is a nice one, the giraffe. The next one is the gorilla. Here again, I get, although I do see some, frankly, some shading there, okay, different touches of the brown, if you will. And you also see it in the, um, in the, you, you could see it here, um, right at the, oops, let me just, so I'll put my finger in front of it. Right there, you could see uh, some of the different variations in the same brown ink, and you could see it on the swatch right there as well. So, again, fairly straightforward, but a very nice color. And all of these colors, I find, are very, very, very deep and very dark. Um, you see the giraffe is a darker orange. Um, the, the This blue-gray, again, is a very punchy, darker darker grayish blue uh, the green is, is is just deep 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 green okay so you could see that there's some punch to it okay that's the gorilla that we just saw the next this is the lighter one and i apologize because <laughs> some of the the spillage uh, of the previous one kind of ruined my swatch for the turtle but the turtle and you you know forgive the, the the spillage here but from the rest of it you could see that it's a very very light blue in fact um it was so light that somehow i got darker uh darker uh, colors here probably stemming from the previous dip of my pen that wasn't washed out properly and the first first bit came out in the light blue in its true color and the rest i guess was all the the the, the you know the left leftover particles of the previous inking so my uh, what is it the crocodile chameleon my gorilla uh, contaminated this swatch in its entirety i don't know if i repeat it oh i did repeat it good i'm glad i did so you could see that now it's just very straightforward light blue i'm not sure i would use this as a daily pen you can get pretty fed up of this light color, but it's still an, an interesting ink nonetheless. Very few other inks have that light blue. Um, you know, you get some of the lighter blue in the Sailor Mania collection, I believe it's called, but there you get you get all kinds of uh, different different shadings of different colors as well coming through this is the monteverde Elef elephant like i said some of these inks are very dark and very deep so here you have a deep deep dark purple 
almost bordering on black purple. But again, when you write with it, 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 it gives you a, a nice punchy, punchy look. So that's the elephant. The next one is the Monte Verde Hippo. Uh, again, a purple, uh, almost a purple blue, if you will, as opposed to this is a purple black. This is a blue purple and it, it, it comes out, but it's nice and punchy. But again, no shimmering, no shading uh, of any sort and no, no shading either. And that completes, I believe, yeah, that completes the, the revision of the eight. Um, again, uh, I think it's a very interesting collection. What's fun about Monteverde is their prices are very reasonable. You know, you'll never spend $20, $30 on a bottle. Usually with eight, you know, anything under $10, you probably can get away with. So anybody who's interested in straightforward inks, not a lot of tricks, um, but deep set colors and very punchy colors, this is a collection for you to look at. I hope you enjoyed my review. Stay tuned. Please prescribe and uh, subscribe. I'm sorry. And I, you'll be getting other ink collections sometime soon. So look out for those. Ciao. Have a great time. Thank you.